It's a rare plant haul. I'm really sorry. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this week's video. So I'd like to get something, a couple of things actually out the way really, really quickly. One, I'm actually standing, I am not sitting. Now, why you ask? I actually, for some reason, just woke up today and really wanted to stand to film. I don't know why, I guess I'm just sick of sitting and I feel very pinned and very constricted. So I've actually decided to stand to film today just to see how that goes. I probably should have put the radiator off that's kind of on beside me because I'm kind of sweating quite a lot. Combined with the radiator and the lights, this is just a little bit much. Secondly, I have a lovely new mustard colored t-shirt and I thought it'd be a really good idea to match my eye makeup to this mustard t-shirt. However, I kind of pulled some false eyelashes out of the drawer and I really didn't realize how, you know, ridiculous they were. They're a little bit much. Are they over the top? Yes, definitely. Am I going anywhere at all today? No, it was a mistake. I guess I got a little bit excited by the whole mustard experience that I've kind of got going on here, but I have another red plant haul for you today. It is only a very, very small one. I'm not gonna keep it too long. There's only a couple of things that I've really gotten. I'm kind of having to take a little bit of time out recently with, you know, quitting my job. I'm getting the shop back up and running. It's all very, very hectic. So I wanted to just take a couple of minutes to show you a few of the new things I have. I think I only have maybe four plants, I think. When I'm done showing you these four plants, I will tell you which ones are actually available on the shop tonight. That is tonight, Friday, 8th of November at 8 p.m. BST on my shop. So I will get into everything about the shop in just a minute, but I think I'm just gonna start straight away by showing you some of the plants that I've got, because why not? I don't know which order to do these in. I have one large one and three kind of the same size. Which one should I do? Which one should I do? So this first plant, I do feel like kind of made it onto my wish list, but I think because I got another plant that was like similar in easy care, I kind of just stopped looking for it. But you know, some plants I do look for, some I don't, but if I come across them, I will pick them up. So this was definitely one of those situations. So the plant I have picked up and it is first in my rare plant haul today is none other than the Anthurium crystallinum or crystallinum, whichever you prefer to pronounce it. This is just wonderful. And this might remind you of maybe one or two other plants, to be honest. It's a little bit like, to me, I feel like it's an Anthurium clarinervium crossed with an Anthurium waraquinum or something more similar to that. I would say it was a pretty good cross between the two. By that, I don't mean an actual hybrid. I just mean they kind of resemble the two plants crossed together. I don't know. But this one is really, really pretty. It's actually sprayed just a tiny little bit with water just to keep the humidity up. So if you see some weird dots on the leaves, that's actually what it is. It's just water. I'll show you this very quickly. Oh my goodness. I can see that on the viewfinder. That is just life. Look at that. Oh goodness. There's the other leaf there. Not quite as perfection as the first leaf. Little bit of transit damage here, but generally it's it's pretty beautiful. I mean, oh my goodness. Have you seen, have you seen anything that good? Honestly, I thought I couldn't get excited about new plants anymore because now obviously I have a shop and I see new plants every week. Honestly, I still get just as excited as I used to. It's, I, I, oh, I love it, I love it. How amazing, look at this. <gasps> I love it. I love it so much. Oh my God. If you're curious, this does feel pretty much exactly the same as any other kind of suede-like anthurium. So it feels just the same as the clarinervium. It's got a slightly different shape to the clarinervium and it's definitely got more prominent veining. And the veining, you know, I don't know if I can actually show you this on camera or not. It might not pick up, but if it does pick up, you might see it on like this side of the plant. If the light catches it properly, it's got like a beautiful silver color. Like this isn't white, it's silver. So this, my first rare plant in the rare plant haul today is the Anthurium crystallinum. So next in my rare plant haul, I do have another Anthurium to show you guys. It has one leaf, but it is growing. It has a wonderful growth spike popping out at the bottom there. It's got one leaf, but it's got quite a large leaf. So I really, really wanted to pick this one up. It looks very nice. This is the Anthurium magnificum. Again, kind of similar to the crystallinum, only this is much bigger. I mean. I could have picked up a smaller one, that said. The veining is not as prominent as the crystallinum and it's not silver either. I'll show you it up close though. Oh yeah, so I just could fill the frame with the leaf. See how my camera handles that? <laughs> that just looks, I mean, how amazing does that look, honestly? Head test with this one because I don't feel like I could have done a head test with the crystallinum because it's a little bit small, but that is the head test on the Anthurium Magnificum. I'm super, super happy to have it. It's gorgeous. It feels slightly more delicate than the crystallinum, I think. Like if I feel the crystallinum, it's definitely a thicker leaf with more like suede. This one is thinner. I can definitely tell it's thinner. It's like a much finer suede, but it's very, very beautiful. And I'm so excited to have it in my collection. Oh my goodness. I really, really, really should have put my radiator off before 
before I started filming this. That was a silly mistake because I'm now plugged in into my microphone and I can't really move. So let's just keep going, shall we? And see how long it takes for me to melt on this camera. Okay, this next plant I am so excited about. I did not know it existed. I've never seen this before. I've never come across it. I'm not saying therefore it's super rare. I'm just saying I've never come across it, you know, on my travels on the internet. This is the Philodendron Majesty. You might not think, oh my God, that is the most amazing plant in the world, but I will tell you why it is, okay? Stay with me. So first off, the leaves on this plant, I can tell you, feel identical to a Spiritus Sancti leaf. I'll tell you that for one thing. Now, what that means for me personally is this feels very, very leathery. Like it doesn't feel like a typical leaf. It's not, I, I can't explain it. It's really thick and it's, it's like leather. There's no other way to really explain that. So not only is it like leather, but the foliage is super, super dark. I don't know if you can see just how dark this foliage is. Maybe you can, I don't know. I'm trying to block my face out. That looks green on camera to me. That doesn't help. It's kind of reddy black. Like if I show you the undersides of the stems, you can probably see what I'm talking about. I mean, that is pretty amazing. Let's not lie. Not only does it have super, super dark foliage, but the foliage is like a matte red burgundy color. It's honestly, it's just the most brilliant thing. I see if I can show you it here. If it wants to focus on it, it looks like it's focusing there. It's just, I don't know if you can see how leathery the leaf looks as well, but the other thing that I absolutely just fell in love with the second I saw this plant, honestly, were the stems. Now the stems, fantastic. They're arguably, apart from the foliage, my favorite thing about this plant because, see if I can get a good image for you. You may have already noticed this on camera anyway, but these stems right here are matte. They are matte black. Yes, really, they are matte black. I really hope my camera holds me down and shows you how wonderfully matte they are because it's a new camera, by the way. So if it looks a little bit different or it's behaving differently, or if this footage just went drastically wrong, that's actually why I have a new camera. And this is my first time testing it. So hopefully, you know, pray for my camera, it's fine. But I hope the camera showed you just how matte that is. I realize I have an elbow behind me here and it's probably not showing these plants off the best. Maybe I can do it over my body, I don't know. No. Still can't show it well. I know I did my Halloween plants video like two weeks ago now. And honestly, I really wish I mentioned this because I would have put this straight in the video because it has everything you'd want in a Halloween plant. I do realize it's now after Halloween. So basically nobody cares, but I still love the whole goth plant vibe. And I'm still really, really happy to have this. I also really like the leaf shape on this though. So these leaves are super juvenile, but they will get, I don't know if you can tell here, they start to like shape outwards here and then down like they get the coolest leaf shape on them when they get more mature it's wonderful so this is one of my new favorite plants this is the philodendron majesty right i know you're gonna like this one rub my hands i'm getting ready so this one took me quite a long time to find it's actually taken me a few months I'm not gonna lie. I don't even think I'm gonna announce what it is. I'm just gonna pick it up and show you and hopefully you can see how awesome it is on camera. So give me one moment. It's a full plant. They're not cuttings, they're full plants. And I'm so excited. You have no idea how excited I was when I found these guys. You just have no concept. Absolutely wonderful. I can't really tip this up because I'll probably get soil all over my living room, but these are fully potted, fully rooted, and they are well-established. Monstera, Borzigiana, Albo, Variegata. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful plants. Now I do realize, I do realize, if I just put this on my other, you know, side of my body, I do realize it kind of sucks that I moved my elbow behind me because now you can't see what's this plant and what's that plant. So I do apologize. I'll try and show you up close the best I can. So this is quite a heavy pot. There is a leaf here. I'm not gonna show you every single leaf, obviously, but there's a nice leaf right there. There's a nice leaf right there. I guess I can just move back with it again and try and show you this plant right here. I mean, <sighs> so good, so good. Now, I don't know if I can put it here and you can still see it. Oh gosh, let's hope that doesn't actually fall off. So you can see the corner of it. So I want you to understand if you don't already know this already, I think people that watch my channel a lot probably know this already, but this is Monstera Borzigiana Albo Variegata. This is not Monstera Thai Constellation, but I have one right here. So I'm just gonna pick it up, two seconds. I don't know if I should show you the big one or the little one actually. Uh, I'll show you the big one. Give me a minute, I'm kind of plugged in. Ooh. Okay. Oh, it's so much easier when you can actually stand up and walk around. This is so much better than normal. So this here is 
Monstera Thai Constellation. It is a little bit different. I don't know if I can show you this very well on camera. Maybe I can, maybe I can't. Like a typical leaf here, Monstera Albo, Monstera Thai Constellation. So basically the variegation on the Albo is generally whiter than the variegation on a Thai Constellation. Thai Constellation's variegation is more kind of off-white. Maybe you could say it was cream and Albo Borsigiana is like cream and white. It's definitely more towards white. I don't know if you can really say it on camera there, but maybe you can here. I'm not really sure. So this here is a very large Monstera Thai Constellation. I will try it and show you right there. You've probably seen this before, guys. I have actually showed you in a previous video. I just kind of wanted to re-show you so you can sort of see the difference between these two plants. If I try and hold them up one more time, gosh, I think I'm just going to get gains of holding these things up. There you go. There is a difference, I promise. Really, if you're looking to get one or the other, I've got a video on this, I'll link it down below, but it's really what you prefer. There are pros and cons of each. Uh, the variegation in this one is stable. I, it won't revert, you won't have to preserve it. The variegation in this Albo Borsigiana is not stable, i.e. you will have to control it, which basically means snip snip if you get a green leaf. If you want a video on that, by the way, I can totally do that, so just let me know. But I wanted to refresh you on the differences between these two plants for good reason. Give me one moment, I'll pop this down. Okay, so this is the part where I tell you which of these plants are available on the shop? And the answer is all of them. All of them includes the Albo Borsigiana, which I have very limited quantities of. I do have some, but I don't have a ton, guys, okay? So I have some of those. I have a couple of large Thai constellations. I have Thai constellations of many different sizes. You may have already seen it on my website. So yeah, if you're looking for an Albo, if you're looking for Crystallina, maybe the Majesty, anything else that I've hauled here today, you can find that on my website. It will be live at 8 p.m. BST today. I just want to remind everybody as well that I do still only ship to UK and EU countries. So if you're not in the European Union, I cannot ship to you. That will all change as from spring 2020, so next year. But for now, it is still UK and EU only. And one other thing, I know a few people have said, why are you opening your shop in November? It is too cold to ship. Do you even have heat packs? Like, what do you got going on? I have 94 hour heat packs, I think it is. Or is it 96? Let me just check. I actually can't remember. It's 90 something. What is it that I have? So I have 96 hour heat packs that can be used as an optional extra. However, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend you do use a heat pack as I don't know what the survival rate of your plant is should you not use that. Oh, there is one other thing before I go actually. It's it may or may not be up on the site right now. I'm recording this video ahead of time, so I don't actually know, but I'm going to be listing a genuine Monstera Oblica on the website as well to buy. That will not be, you know, a chunk of runner. That will be a full plant, a full baby plant, I should say. So if you're interested in that, feel free to look out for it on my website. It is more than likely going to be featured on the homepage and it's probably going to be in the exclusive section as well, I would have thought. Thanks for watching, guys. If you do see any difference with my new camera, then please let me know because... I don't know if I've got any of the settings right, so this is kind of squeaky bum time, as they like to say. If you do notice that my footage looks better, then please let me know. Although you probably won't notice anything, I imagine it looks exactly the same as normal, so please let me know anyway. Please let me know what you think of me being stood. Personally, I feel a little bit more free, like I don't feel as pinned down anymore. I don't know, it depends. I realize my backdrop just looks not good. Like, I have my elbow, Borsigiana, on literally a stool on a box to try and like fill in the big gaping void behind me. So if you think that looks ridiculous, let me know. Likewise, if you prefer it, then also let me know. And I guess that is it for me. Any links to anything that are relevant that I mentioned will be in the description. And I will see you next week. Bye!